And well, it is coming. It's coming to us now. Here's the phone. This is actually the shake alert for Los Angeles, but it won't work unless I am in Los Angeles County. What they're talking about here is a year from now, we'll have a Northwest alert or something to that effect, which will work for us up here. But you'll see why it takes a little longer to develop it. In this shop on the University of Washington campus, they're testing seismometers and they're building out the electronics in the cabinets that will house them. And where they're going is to swim and other places in the Olympic Peninsula, even Oregon. The reason is that the more seismometers you have to listen for earthquakes, the better, more accurate warnings we will get. It's called network density. This is a test. Earthquake, earthquake. And as this demo shows, those first earthquake signals are processed by computer. The result is you will know how many seconds you have to get under a desk, get away from windows, anything you can do to protect yourself. Seismologist Bill Steele. We want to have those alerts as rapidly as is reasonable out there, give people the maximum amount of time to prepare for the shaking. The Los Angeles area has had a phone app for much of the year. As our seismometer network becomes more dense, the plan is to put the app in our hands by next October. I think we're going to be in a very solid place for doing public alerting. So what can you expect in the coming year? Well, a lot of public education, you'll be starting to hear about that soon, what the apps are, and they won't just be on your phone. They could be on your laptop or your computer at home. There'll be warnings that will go out like an amber alert to your phone that don't necessarily need an app but that will give you a more general idea saying an earthquake is happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It could be adjusted in terms of your geographic position. So if it was a fairly small earthquake, but enough to cause damage, you could get it on a county by county basis. A lot of this kind of stuff is to be worked out, but the full, the full shake alert app on your phone should be available. So a couple questions. The folks in LA have this, right. but the question is, does it work? Because the RidgeQuest earthquake right did it work with and there that? was there was some blowback from that and but here's the deal is that it was below it was not going to cause damage in LA so the whole key to a lot of this stuff is not to become the little boy the proverbial little boy who cries wolf because right. it goes off after every magnitude three then everybody's going to ignore it right so there's a threshold enough. that's set so if you're going, if you're at risk and you're in the right position, because every time you walk around, your GPS on your phone knows where you are. Mm -hmm. So if you're in that danger zone or based on the algorithms that these computers come up with saying, Glenn Farley standing here in the mm -hmm. studio or close enough to the earthquake is going to shake, it will go off. But again, you're seeing still a work in progress. Uh, but one of the difference with California is California has, a, has that network density because they have earthquakes so much freq more frequently mm -hmm. there, mm. but our earthquakes are also bigger when so, it comes so to So Glenn, the briefly, you said that the system is here and functions, but who gets it so far? So if you are, it's limited. I mean, basically government agencies, mm -hmm. water utilities, places like that, that's been sort of the test market here. Those are the pilot programs that are going here. For example, if you're running a water utility and there are automatic shutoff valves, but mm -hmm. some of these pipes are so big, it takes 40 seconds for that valve, that gate to close, right? Right. So by that time, and the pipe's broken, the water is half leaked out. Right. This time, as soon as you get that warning, the valve may, so let's say it's 20 seconds, so that valve would be half closed, or maybe even fully closed by the time the shaking would get close enough hmm. to that water utility to break the pipe. So that's yeah. the concept. All right. Yeah. Glenn, thank you.